Hi, I'm Amber Mack, and this is the Canadian premiere of the new GLE. And I'm David Sherrard, National Product Manager for Mercedes-Benz Canada. All right, so tell me all about this car. So as you said, it's new. It's the new GLE, the newest generation, and it's new from the ground up. What about size? So with this generation, it's actually gotten a little bit larger. Um, the wheelbase is extended by 80 millimeters, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually lets us for the first time offer the option of a third row and gives you a lot more room in the second row. What about the performance of the car? So the one we're looking at here is a 450, and it actually benefits from having an inline six-cylinder turbo, but a special feature called EQ Boost. So it's a mild hybrid system, and the battery can actually give you extra boosts of power and torque, um, all with the benefit of saving you fuel at the same time. And, and speaking of technology, there's lots of technology inside the car. And one thing I wanted to ask you about is something called MBUX. Describe exactly what this is and how it works. Sure. So MBUX stands for the Mercedes-Benz User Experience. And it's our newest version of in-car infotainment and telematics. So one of the first things you notice is the two large screens, both over 12 inches, and the touchscreen that you're interacting with. Console. Interesting though, the touchscreen isn't the only way you can work with the system. There's also a touchpad in the center console and touchpads in the steering wheel. And you can also benefit from using natural voice recognition. You kind of cue the system by saying, hey Mercedes. And this is something people love being able to use their voice to be able to do certain things like ask for the weather mm -hmm. is one example. Yeah, so because um, MBUX is connected thanks to Mercedes Me Connect, it can pull information in from the web. Um, actually use that connection to update its map information, gives you live traffic, but as you said, also check information like what's the weather going to be tomorrow or who won the hockey game. I've been uh, flipping through here and I see some features such as this feature that allows you to change the lighting in the car. Yeah, you can personalize it any way you like through different settings. You can have multicolor um, ambient light, you can have a single color, all depending on what your mood is or what your design preference is. One of the things that I'm really excited to chat with you about is augmented reality mm -hmm. and how this really improves the driver experience. So exactly. The, the next evolution of navigation in the car is now actually using video footage from a camera at the front of the car and projecting the image onto the screen with the navigation. So instead of looking at a map and telling you to turn in two streets, you actually have a real live visual of the road. You can match it up and make the right turn. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. We have to talk about price just to wrap sure, things up. Absolutely. Yeah. So the GLE 350 starts at 64,000 and the 450 that we're looking at here starts at 72. All right. Very cool. Let us know what you think. Just leave a comment below.